Here's the bonus in the practice mode, we don't have to wait for each other. Right, they, what? They, they will not speak to each other. So this is uh, Imposter Shinnok, the one yeah. that I use the most. Yeah, so I'm gonna go over his basic move first. Cool. So oh, Shinnok, yeah. um, he's, got a, he's got an amulet blast where he grabs his amulet and um, does a little short range blast with it. Um, and then the enhanced version of it um, is just a bigger blast. Um, this move actually, if um, I can um, go and make the uh, Sub Zero, I'll get, get Derek control. Oh. If you shoot an ice ball, you, you can actually stop projectiles with you that. You can cancel it, nice. Yeah. Oh, you didn't want to do it again. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Derek off with controls. That's actually good. You make one mistake. <laughs> Paul has a low tolerance. Um, he also has this uh, triple ground blast. Uh, which has which hits um, three different ranges. Uh, it always does all three blasts. Um, and it's more meant to like uh, cause your opponent. Um, and you can enhance this move after it hits. Which is sort of a common strength. And you can enhance it on each hit. So you can do the second one and enhance it, or just the first one and enhance it. So somebody's blocking it and you can get them out. You can trick them and make them understand out. Um, and then there's other universal moves, this big uh, shoulder rush, which uh, wizards are known for shoulder rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys knew that. Um, so some of the unique things to practice is um, you can um, set like your positions of the where you're going to reset the game to. So like I'm going to set it to the left here real quick. Um, and then like uh, if, if you're playing online and like sub zeros are are playing against you and like uh, uh, and uh, the ice mode sub zeros are pressuring you in the corner and like putting you in ice mode situations, you can actually use practice mode to figure out how to get out of some of these situations. So you can. Uh, um, set the um, recording, and you can actually record what the other sub zero, um, your sub zero point is going to do against you. And you can set whether or not you're blocking or not blocking it. So I'm going to set it to block and duck. And then do like a little ice mode setup, which sub zero is always doing. And you can figure out how, how, what I can do to stop this. Right. But here, if I do this move on a reversal, I can actually hit him. But if I do that, I can't hit him. Right. And then um, I think if, uh, if, I'm, uh, if I'm reversing this with this, I'm sort of still in the corner and I'm trapped in that situation. But if I reverse it with that uh, enhanced shoulder, I actually get myself out of the corner. Yeah, so I'm get out of that trap. Yeah, so, so, you can, so you can set up little situations of like, hey, um, um, I'm, these things are like beating me in matches and you can like find out ways to get around them. Right. Practice it's really good. Like for me, when I first started playing these kind of games, I was super still, you know, a casual in a way. You absolutely are. I would definitely find a move that I couldn't quite beat, record it, and just try every single thing to get out of it. And like, you know, you do that enough, then you get into a real match and you you do it on reaction. Go hit the dojo. Yep. Another cool thing, do we have it in here where you can actually put on the different uh, backgrounds and such? Yeah. Yeah, we should talk about the uh, the training room background. Yeah. Um, so right now the training room background doesn't have any um, um, uh, interactive objects loaded, but you can set it to load different ones. Um, so you can you can set it to load Cove, and it'll quickly load the uh, Cove interactables inside of the training room. Right. So now that everything is in the Cove, so if you want to kind of try you know interactive specific combos which can mm -hmm. exist, you can change these out all through practice mode. They all just become holograms. Can you make a hologram Blanche? That could be the greatest thing. Don't you don't don't spoil me. Don't spoil me. I'm gonna see if that works. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sure it does. There there it is. We all know Blanche, and she has a holographic counterpart. She'll live forever. Named this way. Blanche 2.0. Does she have a Twitter account? Ooh. If she has a Twitter account, I'll probably write it You'll down. You'll probably wrong. mess it up. So. <laughs> She's gonna have a Twitter account now, I bet. There's some poor grandmother somewhere named Blanche. It's just right now, it's getting a whole bunch of followers. Right. Death calls for you. Let's try to go through some of the uh, imposter's uh, stuff he does too. Then. Yep. What's special to him? Um, so imposter Shinnok gains the ability to steal moves from his opponents. So against Sub Zero, if I land this move. Um, you notice that my uh, my runes change color on my outfit, so that means that I've, I now have a stored, a stolen special move. So with this one, he actually steals the ice ball from Sub Zero. And then every character, he steals a different yeah, move from. Yeah, he a different move from. So if you play as Imposter Shinnok, it would be best for you to learn, you can learn different combos yeah. for every single character yeah, you and, play. And, and it's going to be very matchup dependent, where sometimes Imposter will be very good in some matchups, and, and um, in other matches it might not be as good, but um, for like Sub Zero example, you can combo into the move steal, and then now I have a, um, a stolen ice ball. Um, and then you can actually combo. Oh, 
cool. So, or something like that, you could probably freeze them like a minute and just go right back into a posture again. And you know, you could either combo after it or just use it as yeah, a way to kind of reload the ice ball, ice ball again yeah. uh, to keep pressure. Yeah, so there would be a lot of setups to these. Um, and then you can use practice mode, of course, to figure out the setups. Cool. All right, so what's the next one? <clears throat> um, another little bonus practice mode is you can quickly switch out variations. Um, so, right now, we're going to go to Bone Shaper and we'll switch out some zero to unbreakable. That's yeah, just a, a quick load, and then you're back with the new variations. Yep. No player selecting on that. Yep. So I feel like did this practice mode, like every single game we do, we learn a little bit more about how to make the practice mode a little bit better. Yep. And this year, this is like by far the best practice mode we've done. Yeah, we we talked to some of the competitive players too to see what it is that they really want to help them get better in our game and right. um, figure out better setups and whatnot. So we definitely listen to them and put some of that stuff in too. Yeah, like one of the tough things with fighting games, I think, is like bridging that gap between like, you know, not quite casual, but not quite like, you know, tournament level. And uh, this is a great place to kind of go in and, and um, to be able to kind of like, you know, learn, those, you know, that, learn how to bridge that gap. Right. Absolutely. Now, Bone Shaper Shinnick obviously uses yeah, he can summon, bones. Um, bones. Yeah, he can summon the, um, he can summon different weapons, so he's got this like, little sickle. Bone sickle. Bone sickle? Hashtag bone sickle. That's got a little combo with the guy standing yeah. next to you. Um, he, uh, he also has this um, this little uh, this little low poke, which is a very good low poke that you can go into. Special uh, from. Uh, and then Bone Shaker, he can uh, s s uh, slam the um, icicle on the ground, which is actually a ground pound, which it's uh, new on the screen. And he also has the scoop move, which slams the opponent over, which you can do inside of combos. Nice. And he enhances the opposite guy over. Awesome. I think his amulet gets changed as well, Yeah, his yeah, amulet, so. he actually uses the, the little uh, um, the weapon handle, that he has. The, hilt, yeah, yeah. the, the handle that he has it, that forms into the other weapon, he actually uses it to shoot a uh, Awesome. Maybe we can see an x ray. Ooh, I don't know if they're ready for that. You guys ready for that? Ready for I don't it. know. Let's if do it. it. Let's do it. All right. All right first, I'm going to show you guys the uh, the misanimation for the X-ray just because it's awesome. He summons his little bone cage which traps your opponent, and that actually tracks to where the opponent's currently located. Um, so if the opponent's like running away from you or up close, it's like, oh, I'm just X-ray and it gets him. Backhand. You thought he was done. No. No, not no. done. Not done. Let's go to his third variation. Necromancer versus Cryomancer. Mm. It's crazy. Excellent. Battle of the Mancers. Mancers. And you'll notice he's got these skeleton arms now, too, which is a uh, visual variation. Yep. Right? Yep. And then uh, in Necromancer, you can summon. Uh, um, some bones. You just gotta figure out how to do them. Oh, the flick. <laughs> so dirty. <laughs> so just insulting. Flips him away. Yeah, but he's got this slam move, which, uh, which also tracks where the opponent is. It isn't blockable, but it's pretty slow to come out, so you can figure out ways to get out of it. Okay. And of course, he has a grab. Also tracks where your opponent is, and you can use of combos. Which is like classic Shinnok too. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Can you can you uh, enhance that move? Yep. Can enhance it enhances first bounce. Bounce. You have to get a little more a little more combo action. Bam. Nice. Cool. Yeah, well, Blanche. Blanche. Blanche 2.0. Oh. Still feel bad for her every time. Um, cool. Is there anything else for Lynn? Um, no, in Bone Chamber, that's pretty much it. It just gains the uh, the uh, the new bone special moves. Awesome. Gotcha. Cool. Well, excellent. Um, so 